Hello, and welcome to another Hubnut video. Yes, Hubnut. Uh, I'm working on my Dahatsu Syrian today, but we got some sound issues due to a very noisy generator. So um, I'll spare you that and talk over it instead. We've got a handbrake issue. This side, very badly adjusted. It's not working very well. Off with a wheel trim. Um, if you've got some wheel trims for one of these, do let me know, because these are absolutely rubbish. Uh, start undoing the oh no no wait that's not the right size 21 mil is what they are i was trying to use a 19 uh, here we go crack all the nuts off one two three four and then we can get on to jacking the car up and here is some little sped up footage up we go i'm using the sill jacking point and then i'm going to grab an axle stand uh, put it under the shock tower i think it was and lower the car down which is why the wheel goes back up into the arch uh, i'm now going to put the handbrake on uh, here we go, zip, and uh, yeah, that does seem to be holding at least. But now I'm going to pull it three clicks, which is what the UK MOT requires. Oh, that would seem not very good at all. So it's off with the wheel. Zip, zip, zip. Uh, could use a whizzy gun from the start, but I always like to um, undo them by hand. Uh, there goes the wheel. Then we can remove the center cap. Just prise that off. There's a split pin here for the hub nut. Yay, hub nut. I'll just wrangle that out of there. Could do with some long nose pliers, really. There we go, it's out. And uh, now we undo the um, hub nut fully. I'll just use that just to whiz it off. And off comes the drum. And that shows you how out of adjustment it is, but I can just pull the drum off very easily indeed, just making sure the thrust washer doesn't get lost. So that's the adjuster, which is absolute rubbish. Not a very good mechanism at all, but I picked up this trick online. So I'm now operating the brake pedal just gently, and you can hear the adjuster click, and that has actually pushed the shoes out very, very slightly. It'd be easier to do this with two people, I must admit. Uh, but will the shoe go back on? It won't, so we've actually gone a bit too far. So that, that's not good, can't get the drum on. I'm not gonna force it on, that's not a good idea. You'll end up damaging the shoes. So I'm gonna back off the adjuster again, trying to use the adjuster through the screw hole to tighten it just a waste of time but it's actually quite easy to undo it so now will the drum go back on again yes there we go but as you can see no resistance at all so off with the drum again and uh, this time i'm going to use a slightly different technique i'm going to lean in through the passenger door and just put my hand on the brake pedal until i hear the little clicks about three or four clicks is what you want really and then we try and put the shoe back on and it's a tighter fit and I can feel some resistance. So um, that would seem to work. So now we just start reassembling. Uh, but importantly, this nut does have a specified torque. It's right here in the Syrian service manual. Thank you so much to the chap who um, sent me this or handed it over at the NEC, in fact. Huge torque range. It's like 56, I think, up to 78 Newton meters. So I decided to go for the higher figure on that. Got the actual torque wrench out here we go you'll have to imagine the click where is it click that was it yep so there we go that's um, clicked in and uh, now i'm just checking where the hole is to put the new split pin in uh, which i didn't have there so there we go old one gone new one gonna go in but um slightly too long so i had to uh, give it a bit of a trim thankfully um, we've got some nice meaty pliers yep that's not working mate so uh, we just gave it a bit of a snip and all was good. Job, job, nice and simple. Snip, perfect. And then uh, tap home the new pin, give it a good old bend, and then get a hammer just to um, finish it off and push it back into the um, middle of the hub. So it's wrapped around, it can't possibly come out because that would be fairly undesirable in most cases, I think. And uh, now looking for the cap again. I think I probably should have put some more grease in that really, but uh, there we are. Cap goes back on, we are job done. But uh, yeah, there we go, that's a test. Let the car roll, pull the handbrake on. Back of the car squats nice and even, which it wasn't doing before. You could feel the driver's side go down much harder. So um, all that work paid off. It now seems to work, oh yeah, I had to do it twice because as you can see the first time it was still spinning a bit easily but now the handbrake works an absolute treat just for a sense of completeness here we are um uh, a little further on just been for a test drive the handbrake is now absolutely spot on and uh, even took her for a clean so she's actually not filthy 
which is very, very nice. So that's it for this one. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you in a future video. Farewell.